Thanks for joining us and welcome to the Football Hub. Today we're going to be looking at periodization and how it can help in the grassroots game. So what is periodization? Well it's basically breaking down your season into small bite-sized chunks that are relevant and going to give your players the best chance at developing. So what is periodization made up of? Well we've got our macro cycle, our meso cycle and our micro cycle. Our macro cycle is basically our overarching objective. It's what we want to achieve throughout the season. And within that macro cycle, we're going to have meso cycles. So these are intermediate phases within the macro cycle that usually last a few weeks, several weeks, couple of months, where we're targeting specific elements and aspects of training, such as endurance, strength, or tactical skills that we want to work on to achieve our overall macro cycle goal. Then lastly, our micro cycle, these are the shortest phases. Typically one week long, micro cycles focus on the day-to-day -day training sessions, ensuring they align with the goals of the meso cycle that we're currently working in. So what this might look like is if we want to get our team to be a counter-attacking team, then we perhaps want to look at the areas we need to use that. So our macro cycle could be working towards being a counter-attacking team. But how do we break that down? Well, to counter-attack, we need to be quick on the break. So we might have a meso cycle that consists of speed, where we're looking to burst out on quick transitions. So we'll be looking at transitions, we'll be looking at use of speed. We might be looking at the use of wide areas. Are we going to get more space in the wide areas to get up the pitch quickly? So that could be part of our meso cycle, or they could be part of a number of meso cycles. And within that, we'll have a micro cycle. So if we're looking at use of width, then we may we want to be working on using the channels and quick runs down the channels or maybe playing the ball into a wide area and then back in we might want to look at a bit of playing out from the back so can we start from the goalkeeper how do we get ourselves into the wide areas to be able to play forward and use that as a counter-attacking style and these all form to create up to the bigger picture. So that's our micro cycle working up within our meso cycle all the way up to our macro cycle. But what's the point? It's grassroots coaches do we really need to be worrying about this sort of technical level detail when we're trying to develop our players? Well, absolutely, because there's still benefits whether you're at the elite level. Elite clubs do this very well, where they have a team of analysts, they've got scientific backing as to what is the best programme to get their players through the season and target specific areas of the season where they're going to be at peak performance, whether that be sort of leading to a Champions League final or the rundown of the season where they need to be in peak physical condition. As grassroots coaches, it's vital to make sure that our players are conditioned to get through the season without injury, so it's going to reduce injury and prevent injury it's going to optimize performance because clearly we want to get the best out of our players and we want them to achieve their personal objectives not just their team objectives it'll give us a balanced development it means that we're working towards something specific and we're not just bouncing from session to session week to week with no sort of real direction in place and lastly it's going to give us motivation and focus clearly defined goals mean we can vary our training routines a little bit more it means that players know that we're working towards something and we're not just on a whim moving around between between different topics and not developing or improving. Players will see the development, they'll see the improvement and this should be communicated to them as well. If you communicate to your players what periodization is, why we're doing it, what it's going to do for their playing abilities and benefits, then they'll understand, they'll be on board and they'll engage with it much better. So a couple of tips when we're looking at periodization then. Keep it simple. All elite clubs have all the resources and stuff to put really complex plans in that are targeting certain areas of the season. We can still benefit Benefit from it at the grassroots level if we keep it simple and keep it flexible. Don't have the biggest best plan in the world that's taking you hours and hours of your time to plan out and then not be willing to flex on it when you try to achieve something and your players aren't quite ready. So you need to be adaptable and it needs to be simple. If it's overly complex and it's going to be less adaptable and more difficult if you do need to tweak it throughout the season. Monitor your progress. So we've set goals at the start of the season, whether that be team or individual goals, but we need to monitor that progress as well. So when it comes to the end of a match or to the end of one of our meso cycles, can we reflect on the previous period look back and say actually what went well what didn't work so well and then we can adapt from that point forward as well if something's not working and it's not getting us to where we need to be then we need to change it and we need to reflect on that if we don't have that reflective period then all that's going to happen is that we'll continue on this negative path where we're not improving and we'll have the same issues during our next mesocycle meaning that ultimately we get to the end of our season and we've not achieved our objectives if we can identify issues early on with our training plan then we can fix that nice and quick and make sure that our next mesocycle or our next 
next micro cycle even is more effective and we achieve what we set out to achieve from the start and it means we can prioritize recovery ensure your training schedule includes adequate rest and recovery periods to prevent injuries the grassroots season is very good in that it includes bank holiday weekends and uh, breaks for October holidays, Christmas periods, things like that. Plan it around those elements where you could maybe have a higher intensity period leading up to Christmas because you know players are then going to have a couple of weeks rest. So they can sort of peak a little bit before it and then they've got a natural rest within their season anyway. And then they might move into a more sort of transition period after Christmas. And a transition period can be a vital part of the season, especially if you're working at 7v7 or 9v9. Are you potentially looking to transition the following season to that 9v9 or 11v11 size football so that period after Christmas potentially gives us the opportunity to use as a transition period and start start bringing in friendlies at the next level up where we start taking the odd 11v11 game and just introducing players to it this will still develop their 9v9 game but it's a great opportunity to sort of build this into our cycles as well and include it as part of our planning so in conclusion then periodization is a powerful tool that can elevate your coaching and your team performance by understanding its principles and applying them thoughtfully you can help your players to reach new heights and enjoy a successful injury free season the approach taken by elite coaches like Pep Guardiola, Jose Mourinho, all these sorts of high-level coaches highlight the importance of strategic planning, flexibility and recovery in achieving consistent success. Start small, stay consistent and watch your team thrive. And remember, the ultimate goal is to develop well-rounded, resilient players who can perform at their best when it matters most. Embrace the journey of periodization and transform your team's potential into tangible benefits on the pitch. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like, hit the subscribe to our channel and head over to thefootballhub.org to see how we can support your journey as a grassroots football coach.